Hey, how you doing? This is Carvel Bailey, and um, we got snow. We got snow in Chicago. We got snow. Uh, we almost skipped it. We almost got out of the year without snow, but it's starting to snow, so you see I'm prepared for the elements, right? So I got my jacket, I got my hood, I got my hat, uh, I got my gloves too in my pocket, just don't have it on right now. So, but I'm preparing for the elements. Um, what I want to talk about today is athletes. Let's prepare for the elements. So let's make basketball basketball and let's leave football and all the other sports, baseball, the other sports where it is. So what do I mean by that? I remember um, about maybe 10 years ago, doesn't seem that long, but about 10 years ago, I actually had a team who was pretty good and we went on like a two game losing streak. Now again, this is 10 years ago, so it's dating, but it's even worse now. So we were in practice and they were just going through the motions, not really having a sense of urgency, like we had just lost two in a row. So when I looked around, everybody on my team except for one person had an additional piece of equipment. So at that point, I stopped practice and I told everybody, I said, unless you have had surgery, I want you to go remove everything. Now on the next level, you got to understand this. When you get to the college level, having your ankles wrapped or taped is mandatory. All right, having your ankles wrapped or taped is mandatory. So on the college level, um, when you get to college, especially if you're at a good program, regardless what level it may be, uh, the coaches are going to have trainers and they're going to either let you wrap your ankles or they're going to issue out ankle braces. All right. Most great programs do both. I always issued out ankle braces because I didn't want any excuses and I also didn't want anybody getting hurt. Um, but if they, if they, if the ankle braces were too thick for them and they just wanted to just tape themselves, then they were allowed to tape themselves. But again, I'm dressed for the elements, right? Just got back in my car, got the heat on, right? For the elements. Too many athletes now are not dressing for the elements of basketball, right? We've let the vanity of the sport be more important than the sport. So there are so many athletes that, you know, they're wearing finger sleeves, elbow sleeves, arm sleeves, knee sleeves, um, like everything. They got tights on, they're doing all of this. And my point that I come today to athletes to be able to help you, as well as coaches. Coaches, if you really want to help your team and help your athletes, some may not care. You know, I talk about it in my book. That's the first chapter. There's three different styles of coaches. My my style of coach um, at that particular time was the commander style. So I want everybody, we going we're going to match from top to bottom. Same shoes, same color socks, right? <laughs> Ankle braces, whatever. Like we're all in unity. We're all one. Some coaches don't care. They don't care if you got mishmash shoes on, what it is. They just want you to get the job done. So I talk about that in the first chapter of my book, just the three different styles of coaching. Um, understanding life through the game of basketball, uh, my first book, if you don't know, I haven't gotten it. But my point is, athletes, unless you are like risking your body, there's no need for you to wear all that stuff. There's no need because now you're more concerned with how you look as opposed to how you play. So now when the game gets muddy, when the game gets murky, you know, when the game gets tough, when the game gets physical, we see a lot of athletes lose it here. The reason that they lose it here because they're wondering about how they look in the mirror. Does that make sense? So like that particular time, I made everybody go in the locker room and take everything off. The individuals that I knew that had knee surgeries and those things, I said, you can keep your, your, your ankle or your knee braces on. And what most people don't understand also is when you're putting extra support on something that doesn't need extra support, eventually you may weaken it. Eventually you may weaken it. Um, like what's the purpose of having a knee brace if you don't have knee issues? What's the point of having, you know, thigh pads if you're not taking the charge? What's the point of having like elbow sleeves, arm sleeves, um, if you're not dabbing on the ground for a loose ball? Like if, if so, why, why protect something that you're not giving up?
Why protect something that you're not laying on the line? If you don't lay it on the line, there's no need to protect it. So if you're going to lay your body on the line, then you should protect it. So let's go into the new year, athletes. Let's go into the new year and let's have jersey, shorts, socks, and shoes like it used to be. I'm not going to even get into the whole jockstrap thing because I understand the spandex. That, that, those, that's fine. But all these extra items, if you take a look at most teams, most teams have 60 to 75% of their athletes have an extra basketball item on that's not needed. It's not needed. So my word for you today is, coaches, if you really want to increase the, 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 the focus or the production level in your athletes, all right, help them get past the vanity. Help them get past the internet trolls. Help them get past their friends talking in the stands or what their friends may say, or, you know, social media or just text. Help them get past all of that. Help them focus here. And the way that you can help them focus here is getting them to understand that nothing matters except what matters. Right? Nothing matters except what matters. The same thing as saying, like, keep the main thing the main thing. Right? Nothing matters except what matters. So unless you're diving on the ground, taking charges, you know, all of those things, there's no need. Or unless you've had surgery. If you've had surgery or if if you have, if you're, like, hurt or have a, you know, injury that you are coming back from, then those things may be necessary. But let's do away with all the extra basketball items that are just there for vanity and most athletes have not yet earned the right to wear those things because eventually what really what it's doing is it's weighing you down if if it's not being used to help you then it's really hurting you so I just want to say that going into the new year, let's leave that in the past. All right, let's 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 get rid of all those braces and all those wraps and all those things unless you're really going to give up your body and lay it on the line for your team, your goals, your family, and yourself. All right, I'm out. Uh, parents, if you know, you already know, if you got an unrecruited or under-recruited athlete, reach out to me. All right, better yet, go check out my free case study video, B2BSD hoopsmastery.com. All right.